for joining us. Uh, Claudia Challoner here, Doctor of Physical Therapy with the company Movement RX. And we're here at the House of CrossFit with Kobe Nelson, the owner here. Uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself, Kobe. Uh, yes, I am a wounded warrior, uh, medically retired from the Marine Corps, and also just got back from competing in the 2014 Working Wounded Games. So we've been working with Kobe for the last couple of months now having some anterior knee pain um, with squats and after further evaluation we noticed that he doesn't have full uh, dorsiflexion of his left ankle so we've been working on some different techniques to help improve his ankle range of motion to help decrease uh, the tension that he's having through his knee and to reduce that pain there so go ahead and lay on your back not familiar with the arthrokinematics of the foot or that the joint movement at the ankle, what happens is when we dorsiflex our ankle, okay, when we bring our ankle up, uh, which is what we need for pistols and squats, uh, we need good motion at our fibular head. Uh, so what it does is it moves anteriorly and laterally. So kind of in this direction here will be the movement of that fibular head, which is that long bone uh, in the lower part of our leg. So if we have restrictions here with that soft tissue around the fibular head, then we're not going to get full dorsiflexion. So that can uh, cause some faulty mechanics with our squat or our pistol. So we're going to work on uh, just the soft tissue in here, utilizing the hot grip, uh, also known as this instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization. So we're just going to be scanning this area, kind of looking for any kind of uh, restrictions or grittiness that we feel, working this posterior aspect, uh, just being uh, aware of the peroneal nerve uh, that runs on the back side of that fibular head. Working this area, we're going to work it for about 10 minutes and then we're going to do a test, retest uh, with our narrow squat stance. The narrow squat before treatment. Good. So we see that left heel is coming up, uh, showing reduced dorsiflexion on that left side. All right, so this is the narrow squat after the hot grip treatment around the fibular head. Go ahead and do a squat there. Good, so notice that we're getting some more dorsiflexion at the ankle due to those soft tissue restrictions at the fibular head. So we're getting more movement there, allowing for more movement at the ankle. This is gonna put him in a much better position for his squats and his pistols, and hopefully decrease some of that pain that he's been having at his knee.